Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to teach you one of the most iconic and the most beautiful chordal sounds. This one has been used by everyone from Bill Evans to Oscar Peterson to Keith Jarrett to you name it. I am talking about the infamous drop two voicing. It sounds really beautiful and very fancy, but it's actually really simple. And it's gonna take you no time to understand it. But before we get into it, for those of you who asked about lessons, you can find me on Instagram at Ruslan Piano and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Ruslan Music. Or you could leave a comment down below and I'll reach out to you myself. So drop two voicings. What are they? How do they work? Very simple. Here is a C major seven chord. I'm sure you've heard it before. There are four voices in this chord. One, two, three, four. All that drop two means is that you take the second voice from the top and you play it an octave lower. That's it. So let's see. One, two, three, four. That's a C major seven. Now let's play a C major seven and drop two. So we take this voice, this is second voice from the top, and we drop it one octave below. And now we're gonna play that same C major seven chord in drop two. Simple. Let's take a B minor seven chord. That's a B minor seven. What's the second voice from the top? This one. Let's drop it an octave below then. That's it. Now you have B minor seven and drop two. You might ask yourself, but hey, this sounds pretty simple and doesn't sound nearly as fancy as what you played on the beginning of the video. Sure. That is because drop two voicings start to sound really good when you play them one after another. In other words, drop two voicings start sounding really good when you play them over several chords in a row and not just one chord. Preferably several voice-led chords in a row. And that's what I was doing in the beginning of the video. And I'm going to do that again right now. I'm going to play several inversions of a C major seven chord, voice-led, in their original position, just to show you what I'm starting from. And then I'm going to show you how it's done with drop two and how beautiful it sounds with the drop two in it. So here's what we're gonna start from. See? Okay, so what are those voicings in drop two? Very simple. You just take the second voice on the top and drop it an octave below. That's what it is. Now let's see what it's gonna sound like. First chord. First voice from the top, second voice from the top. And that goes down. So that's the first one. Okay, great. Remember this one. We're gonna come back to it. Okay, let's figure out the second chord. Second voice from the top is this one. That's the first from the top, that's second from the top. Second from the top goes an octave below. So so far we have. Oh nice. Instead of we have. Nice. Alright, so what's the third chord? What's the drop two on this? Oh, that's the first from the top, that's the second from the top, then that's the one that goes an octave below. So we have... Ah, pretty. What's the last chord? Okay, that's the last chord. What's the second note from the top? That's the first one, that's the second one, and that's the one that goes down. So now we have... C, instead of we have same voicings, it's just the second voice from the top goes an octave below. And now you have your drop to voicing. Easy. Let's do another one. Like a C sharp diminished version going to D minor. And another C sharp division inversion where E diminished, going back to D minor again. So those are the voicings. So what would they sound like in drop two? Alright, so what's the first one? Okay, what's the second one? Second from the top goes down. So we have ah, C. Also, the secret is that these voicings are all voice-led to begin with. 
That's why they already work. And when you do a drop two on voice led voicings, means like chords that have voice leading in them, then it's gonna really start sounding beautiful like this. You see, like, like, because the voicings were voice led into one another in the first place. So the drop two only brings that out more, only emphasizes that more. So we have this. The third chord is this. What's the drop two on this? First voice, second voice, second voice goes an octave lower. So instead of this, we have... Okay, so, so far. What's the last voicing? Great. D minor six. Something like that. What's the drop two on this? That's the first voice from the top. That's the second voice from the top. Great. So. Great. See? See how beautiful? So yeah, those are four note voicings, preferably with voice leading inside them. And then you give them that drop two treatment and you get this kind of magic. So try this out on your own chord voicings, you guys, and let me know how you do. If you need more chord voicings to get under your fingers before you give them a drop two treatment, you can check out the video in the annotation above where I show you guys how to find amazing chord voicings all on your own and give you a free PDF with some of my most useful bread and butter voicings. So that's about it, you guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. If you like these kind of videos, please subscribe to the channel. I make a lot of them. And if you're already a subscriber, please hit that notification button down below so that when I make these videos, you'll be the first one to know about them. I respond to every single person in the comments section and answer you guys' questions right away and coach you one-on-one -on -one to make sure you get the most out of these videos. So leave a comment down below. Thank you for checking out this video and I will see you next time. Peace.